this is just like a wonderful day, guys. I think that we should go explore like a new dungeon for once, like a new magical dungeon that has never ever seen before. So we're gonna go up in that cave and see if there's anything new. Yo, wait, guys, I think that I see something all the way on top of the cave. I'm pretty much spooked out. I don't think that you guys can see it. Wait, I'll just zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see it. Rah, I'm a dragon. Rah. Oh, heck no. I'm out of here. I'm going to go to my granny's house instead. I don't want to see ugly people. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Rexway here. So, in today's video, we are gonna be playing some more Dungeon Quest. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best tank loadout for this game, of course. So let me show you guys my inventory real quick. So this is a Godly Guardian helmet and this is a Godly Guardian armor. So I also put on the Staff of Gods because this is really gonna be useful and you guys are gonna see why it's really useful for a tank class. I do recommend that you guys use the aura of life for this and I also recommend that you guys use a taunting aura. So if you guys don't know what like a tank is, uh, a tank is basically taking all the damage of course. So we're gonna be like attracting all the enemies towards us and if we are taking damage we are obviously gonna heal ourselves with the aura of life. I chose the aura of life because it has like a fast cooldown. The cooldown is only like 10 seconds and if I use the universal heal it's only gonna take like 14 seconds. So that's why I chose the aura of life. It has like a shorter cooldown instead of the universal heal. So, on April 1st, this thing was posted here. Resetting servers if you guys want to join back right away. Small update, more XP on Pirate Island in insane mode and nightmare mode. Game shelf hopefully be playable on Xbox. I had a lot of requests to make the game available on the console, so this is just a bare bones start of this for now. The layout may be optimal, but I can touch up on it later. The next update will focus on getting a new map ASAP, fixing the hitbox on abilities. Thank god that they're gonna fix the hitbox on abilities because they're so annoying. Some of them are broken like the Skull of Flays for example. And finally, we are gonna get like a new map pretty soon and I'm pretty hyped for that. If you guys have like any ideas on what the new map is gonna be, post it below in the comment section. I really wanna see your ideas for this next update. I'm super hyped for it. Also, my tank loadout has like 40k of HP, which is pretty much a lot of HP. And I also gotta give it like a shout out to Simply Canadian for letting me borrow this Guardian outfit. Without her, I wouldn't even make this video possible. Alright, so I'm gonna start up a dungeon real quick. Rainway is gonna help me make this video possible. He's gonna be the one doing most of the damage and we are gonna be like the tank for this video. So once he joins the server, I'm going to give him back his armor and I'm going to let him borrow my godly warrior helmet and armor along with my along with my great sword let's just wait until he gets inside the server and we'll just get straight into it okay so there we go i set him in the trade i'm giving back his mage armor and i'm letting him borrow my sword and the armor so he can actually do some damage all right so we're gonna create a dungeon real quick create dungeon pirate island nightmare mode hardcore private lobby create dungeon and then i'm gonna whitelist him there we go whitelisted and now we are gonna wait until he joins so this dude is just calling me a dad. Oh, what if I am your dad? What if I'm not your dad? It's gonna be pretty weird that like, me being a dad, I'm like, I don't know. I could be like 12, I could be 20, I could be like, let's say five. Who knows? All right, so we got Rain inside the party lobby. The only thing that he has to do is just keep a distance while I take up all the damage. Okay, here we are. He has that cool looking armor and that beautiful sword that I gave him. Alright, so we're gonna start it in 3, 2, 1, let's go. So if you guys don't know how to play tank, this is what you guys gotta do. You gotta bring them all together like this. And then you have like the other person doing the damage. There we go. And here we go. I'm gonna heal myself because I'm taking like a good amount of damage. And now I'm just gonna wait until... Oh, oh, what the heck? No, he died! Rain, how could you die that fast, bro? Oh my god, Rain, you're so bad! <laughs> okay, I guess we gotta start over now because of Rain. Okay, 3, 2, 1, let's go back to the lobby. Forgot to change stats. All good. Okay, we're gonna wait until he changes his stats because he was a mage before. And that actually is pretty crucial. Because there's always gonna be like that one person saying, Yo, you called him bad! No, you're bad! There's gonna be that one person in the comic section saying that. Okay, so we're gonna create the lobby once again and wait until he changes his stats. Okay, there we go. I created the lobby. I'm gonna wait until he resets his stats. And there we go. I think he did. So let's start it. And hopefully... 
You don't die this time, Rain. I hope that you don't because there's always that one time that you die. Okay, there we go. We spawned it in and we're going to wait until the start button. Oh, I guess not. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. So I'm going to taunt this group and hopefully Rain doesn't die. He has like, I'm not really too sure how much HP that he has. I think 5k. Yeah, 5k is pretty decent, but but you're gonna get like one shot in from the boss. So there we go. We're gonna take up all the damage. All that Raiden gotta do is just stay back or else he's gonna die. You see how he's taking damage right there? Just can't get too close. All right, we're gonna heal ourselves and we're gonna heal him. If Rain gets hit here, it's game over. So hopefully that he doesn't get hit. All he has to do is just dodge pretty well. But we can survive like a hit from this thing. Like, look at that. We survive a hit. We can survive like another hit that I think. I'm not really too sure. Fine. I'm gonna do like, let's say 500 damage or something on this dude. Okay, see, we're pretty much fine. There we go. I just gotta heal myself now, and let's see how much damage that we get taken. We're taking like 90,000 damage, which is pretty much a lot. I'm not sure if Rain is gonna go straight in there. I really hope that he doesn't. Okay, we're gonna taunt all of them into a circle, and we're gonna use the healing aura. Yeah, that's basically all you guys gotta do. You just gotta taunt them and not get the other person too close to them, or else they're gonna die. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna heal myself real quick because we're taking loads of damage. Okay, I'm gonna use the taunting aura so they don't go to Rain. Oh, I'm taking loads of damage here. That's not good. Okay, we're almost at the Spider Queen. Which was pretty fast. Oh, 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 Okay, that was actually pretty close. We almost died there. So we're gonna heal ourselves and we gotta be careful next time. Also, we are almost at like 11,000 subscribers. That was actually pretty fast. So yeah, we are almost at 11,000 subscribers like I said in a second ago. It would really, really mean a lot to me if you guys would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Because the channel growth has been super, super amazing so far and I really, really want to keep up the good work for you guys. Alright, so we made it up here so far and hopefully this rain guy doesn't die. I hope not. We're doing pretty good so far. Alright, let me just use the taunting aura once again i know that there's another taunting aura which i'm gonna use after this i'm not really too sure which is better this one that i'm using or the other one the other one just gives you like a shield but this one feels way better than the other one in my opinion all right so we're gonna taunt these guys here and hopefully the aura of life hurries up with the cooldown all right there we go we're gonna heal ourselves and we will we'll be fine this is the last group and we'll make it to the boss hooray the boss right i'm super hyped because i know that i'm gonna get like some bad items for sure for my level because some of you guys are like yo you got some good items compared to me no what the heck rain died what how did he die what no that's actually bs how am i gonna beat this boss Oh no, do I have- Oh, this is really bad. Okay, I don't have my armor. And I don't have like anything. Oh, this is horrible. Uh, the only thing I have- Wait, I still have my Molten Greatsword. I'm not too sure how much damage that I can do to this dude. Okay guys, I'm gonna like speed up the video here because I don't think that you guys would want to spend like- I don't think that you guys want to hear me like talking for like the next five minutes or so. Just killing this boss. So I'll see you guys in a quick second. Okay, there we go. We beat it. We got like a molten great sword, which is common and some other two items Man, rain you shouldn't have died there, bro you We could have finished this by now if you didn't die. What else was I gonna do again? I forgot what I was. Oh wait. Yeah, I was gonna use a guardian call this time So I'm gonna equip my guardian call and equip my aura of life So let me just create a dungeon real quick play create dungeon pirate island nightmare mode. Oh wait it glitched Okay, we're gonna do that again pirate island hardcore private lobby create this lobby and now I just gotta whitelist him So on this run, we're gonna see which one is better the taunting aura or the guardian call I think that the taunting aura is way better than the guardian call in my opinion. It might be better after they fix the hitbox for it. I'm not really too sure if they fix the hitbox for it. That would be really amazing. Alright, so 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. The downside of the taunting aura is that it doesn't really last that long like the taunting... The downside of the guardian call is that it doesn't really last that long. Unlike the taunting aura. The taunting aura lasts way longer, but this one just gives you a shield. 
Come on! No! Rain died! He's like, I swear to god. I guess we're gonna have to redo it. Alright, so this time he actually upgraded his HP to 13,000, which is really, really great. That's what he needs. If you guys haven't seen my video for the warrior loadout, I think that you guys should watch that video. Or for like the mage loadout, I recommend that you guys watch that video. It's really helpful, I'll tell you guys that. So if you guys want to watch that video, just go watch it on my channel. Alright, so we're gonna heal up Rain so he doesn't die. Okay, Guardian Call, don't fail me now. There we go, we attracted all of them. And now we're gonna use our Aura of Life so he doesn't die. I think we're pretty much fine all right so i'm just gonna speed up the video so you guys don't have to hear me like talking for like the rest of it so i'll see you guys in a quick second Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that was actually pretty close. I thought he was gonna get hit. There we go. We beat it. And I don't know what that blue thing is. Wait, let me check. Inventory? We got an Inferno Plate Helmet, which I don't need. Love the Warrior Loadout video. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Here you go. I'm gonna give you all of these items for free. I'll give you two. Why not? Alright, so if you guys enjoyed this video, I would really, really appreciate it if you guys will like this video and subscribe to my channel. The channel growth has been super, super amazing. We made it to 10,000 subscribers, which I'm still super happy about. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.